Mugginess, I mean, dew points in the mid 70s, even upper 70s, kind of locked in place. So that does not allow your body to cool down, but it doesn't allow the air to cool down either. So at night, you don't see cool temperatures overnight. Dry air heats up pretty dramatically, but it also cools down dramatically. When you have this much moisture in the air, you just don't cool down at night. And so you start the days warmer and with full sunshine. That's why you see these crazy heat impacts. We've got major impacts tomorrow into Friday into Saturday. Likely going to see a little bit of a break though going into the weekend. So 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's the time frame each day. The impacts excessive heat and humidity and the humidity can be the one that catches up on you because you're going to be sweating, but your body won't be cooling off because there's nowhere for the sweat to go in the air. Evaporation is your best form of cooling. And if you're if the evaporation isn't occurring, your body's just going to sweat more and more. Your body temperature rises. And you start dehydrating. So having a place to cool down and drinking plenty of water drink way before you're thirsty. If you wait till you're thirsty, it's going to be too late. The heat index tomorrow could top out close to 107, 108 on Friday, a little bit better Saturday, but by Sunday, Monday, we should see some relief.